Previously on American MC. For the first time, they all ride together. Absolutely. I would like to see this group of guys become an MC. They've discovered some of the unwritten rules of the road, rules enforced by the one percenters. What the hell are these guys? <laughs> They want, to, you know, they want to be badass bikers or something. And when it comes to the written rules, they've broken those too. <coughs> they've created a new form of road rage. They start going! Get the fuck out of here! Are you sad? Get, Get back! back. Go. Get out. Watching you two go nuts on each other is fucking great. Now they find themselves smack dab in the middle of a biker bar that just happens to be a favorite of the Hell's Angels. I oh, don't know. No, that Victor Wiggins sucked in the head. Hey, let's relax. In this situation, most sane people would step back, lay low, be cool. But not Baker, he has an idea. How often does that come up where you get a chance to go riding with Hell's Angels? I mean, it's gonna be cool. bar in northern Arizona was a pretty random interesting thing on the poster about the prison run it says ride with the hell's angels so our game plan is to roll out of Sholo head south out onto the Apache Indian Reservation and then we're gonna look to hook up with them and rally on south 200 miles to the Florence prison run they said sure you know you can stay up you can keep up so, yeah, that kind of got everybody like, what do you mean, man? That sounds dangerous. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's go see if we can ride with them. But I'm worried about them being too tight, because if something happens, it would not be good. You know, these guys ride hard and fast and close. And we're just a bunch of guys that enjoy riding together. We've never ridden hard, fast, and close. I was thinking, we might have some accidents. There might be some injuries. These guys may just leave us in the dust. But I, I was willing to, to give it a shot. I, I, I wanted that opportunity to see exactly what a real biker club is like. And uh, these guys are numero uno. They're, they're the number one. So it was just an honor. I don't, I don't know about what you guys think we heard last night, but Sholo Rick said, on the res, White River. So we're now out of White River, so I'm thinking if we're going to see them anywhere, unless we've already missed them, well. we'll, we'll just wait here for a bit. Do you think they'll stop, or should we be ready to go and just take off after them? Because they no, did say uh, if we could keep what? up. You think they'll pull in? What do you think? I don't, I don't think, think they'll stop for us. I, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't expect somebody. Yeah, I said, yeah, you want to ride with me? That'd be. They so stopped. Through. Just told us, hey, we can keep up. He's going to be coming down the road. I don't think he's going to stop. It didn't sound like he's going to stop. If he sees us, get him and go. Catch up with him. If we can hang with him, we can Catch hang up with and him. Stay up. Yeah. yeah. We can stay with him. We can stay with him. We can't. We can't. We're going to the prison on whether or not they come, right? Right, right, right. We're right, right. We're going. We're there. If they roll, we, we get to roll with them. Roll. Absolutely. We're going to be riding really, really close and tight. We want to show respect and be in line and stay together. But don't get so close to any of them that you will ever be, ever have a chance of rear-ending them. Because chances are that'll be the last time you ever rear-end anybody. <laughs> <laughs> For several okay? different reasons. Oops. the Hells Angels. I will ride with the Hells Angels. It's a scramble near the White River Bend, but they have more than a hundred miles to catch up on the road to the Florence Prison Run.
adrenaline is coursing at that point. You really need to pay attention to what you're doing as you're riding. You've got a bike in front of you and a bike next to you, and you're within feet of each other, and sometimes not even feet, sometimes just inches. One wrong move, and you're done. This is so awesome. We're like in a training exercise with the Hells Angels. The ultimate test. And our guys are riding great. Awesome. I'm loving it. These guys are the guys that ride. These are the guys that make it look easy. And it's a feeling like no other because it changes the game. You don't know everything about them. You hear things, but you don't because it's not your business. They're, you're not one of them, but you respect them. I better ride well is the feeling I have. I hope my brakes work. You better have your shit together. I don't think too many bikers, whether they're in a bike club or not, ever envision themselves riding with the Hells Angels. Surprised we can keep up? Well, you're still standing up. <laughs> it's, just, it's just to be seen if you'll be able to keep up. I felt like we had earned a stripe there, or at least just a little bit of respect in their eyes. You guys were for a low drop. That's where you were sent from there to Holbrook, Arizona. From Holbrook, Arizona, sent to Florida. His return, come back to the state of Arizona, as far as he made it, was Oklahoma City. Beyond that, Geronimo never made it home. Huh. Really? Oh, wow. That's the history on Geronimo. Yeah, I was wondering about this patch, man. And I just wanted to know, who gave you permission to wear that patch? Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the hell is Tommy? <laughs> you know, I think you want to talk to my president here. Uh, you do? Yeah. He was asking me about the patches that we have on the back of our jackets, the, the embroidered. You bet. On what we're wearing, there's an MC underneath that. Yeah, we we don't have that on ours. Well, you we're must not, not be you must not be a motorcycle club, huh? No, we're not. We're just a group of guys that like to ride together. No. And and Turtle, I'm I'm Tommy. I'm the one that uh, gave them and these guys these vests. But you're right. We've never found out or understood what the formalities are to be a club. Come to the confederation or talk to the ACMC or anybody, huh? And we're all like, in due respect, I guess we're enamored with, you know, your world, the world of other bike clubs that, that run a patch and, and show that camaraderie. We're a little out of order, I understand that. And, uh, you know, just you giving us this insight today gives us a little heads up of get it right. It's not just us. That is a national level for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're purple, green, red, or blue. You can belong to that organization representing a motorcycle club. But that will be up to your adventures within the nature of where you go with this. Well, we'd like to get it right, get it better, but uh, some, somewhere in your uh, in your tail smoke. Well, that's probably where we'll see. It's going to be smoke, <laughs> like I said okay. before. Okay. If you can keep up, you'll probably stay up. Can we roll with you guys a little further down towards the prison run? Yet to be seen, but we're getting ready to leave. All righty. All righty. All righty. All righty. You guys ready? Let's do it. Uh, it's pretty intense. Yeah. But uh, I think for now, we all know we got to be talking a little bit further, guys, what we do or don't want to do. But for now, let's keep on the ride. Tommy, Tommy, I don't want to get our asses kicked here. We're no, but they said we could still ride with them. So all right, I they didn't seem real happy about me having uh, a bad All right, but going to be all right with that? They told us we need to all find right. more about our all journey, right. about what we want to be. Federation, all right. we're leaving now, and all I don't right. want to. No, we want to stand left. fast. Yeah, left exactly. Fast. All right, let's go. Forward to Patch, I don't want to get left again. The angels raised a question. Uh, I think you want to talk to my president here. Uh, 
do. One of them noticed that our patch did not have an MC, and unfortunately for Kurt, he was near Kurt when he really saw that, and it was a tough moment. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I don't want to get our asses kicked here. There's this dude with long gray hair, just looking right in my eyes, and it, like he had snake eyes, like he was ready to kill me, and uh, it scared the shit out of me. I didn't know what to do. They didn't threaten or curse. They just said, you guys are pretty stupid, you know that? And there's a lot of motorcycle clubs that live and die for that patch and that it's an MC. You might want to go figure that out. <laughs>